Okay, Blake, uh, we got your got your motorcycle up on the bench. Uh, he was taking the top end off of the motorcycle. It looks like you got some high compression pistons of some sort. Now, we haven't got into it all the way yet, but we're getting there. So, uh, we, according to our conversation, you wanted to retain the dual disc brake, which we're going to do. The, uh, you want to keep the stock handlebars, the foam grips, you're not looking for turn signals. I want to go over this frame with you just to show you where we're at it. Um, this is uh, some kind of a kit from somebody because you got the supports right here. Now, I'm not real familiar with a bunch of race stuff, but they've moved the, uh, side stand to here where normally it's supposed to be here so we can address that so you've got uh, these gussets back here so uh, there's no way we can get a uh, a uh, air box in here ever so we'll run individual filters it looks like they drilled out this for weight um, it's okay, but it probably wouldn't hurt to replace that. Um, now we're going to come to here. This is where the seat lock and everything was. So we're going to talk about that. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do here. And this is where the turn signals go. So... Um, where we're at with this and obviously they, they chopped the rear fender but they did retain the stock tail light and you got a bunch of holes here so what we're going to, have to make a decision on is being that it is the way that it is we could still make a nice hot rod out of this um we're gonna to have to think do we replace because the brackets here you're wanting to run the stock controls, so over here, the stock controls, foot pegs and everything bolt right to here with the shifter coming off of here. So it'll be a direct setup. Now that they've got the starter, what where the starter motor was is plugged right here. So this was a full tilt racer at one time. I think you still got the stock rods. I'm looking at the flywheels on the inside, you still have the pork chop crank and not the completely rounded one. So, um, but the front of the frame is perfect. The pin looks really good. It's got, looks like it, it, it might be off just a hair, but I think that's not an issue. We can, we can fix that pin where the pin's a little crooked right here. So that's not the end of the world. If you come to this side here, you can still see where this was your your passenger peg bracket. And this is where your foot peg bracket went here, as well as the kickstart and everything. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna decide do we try to find a frame that's been gooned and attach it to your, just maybe reattach it from here down to here? Uh, this we can, we can change all this up when the bracket comes out, how they cut that off. And of course we can eliminate all this. This is all uh, kind of different. So uh, we'll send you this video, we'll give you our thoughts. And then uh, we can talk about what we're going to do because uh, you can see where the tire was rubbing at one time. It was really, really, you know, really, really tight at one time. I think it was rubbing on the swing arm. As you can see, uh, there's not much clearance right here. So I don't really think we need to put a tire quite this big on there. And maybe we can go a little more narrow rim. Uh, it called for a 2.15 rim, and this is a 3.5 rim, and that's the width of the rim. So um, 
this is something that uh, we'll talk about. But in the meantime, we're gonna get the motor out and Hilo's going on vacation tomorrow. So this will be the probably last day he works on it is today. So I just kind of wanted to show you where we're at with it. It's definitely repairable and it's a, the base is good. So this will make a really, really cool heart rod because this, is, this all looks good. This is a good job. And judging by the exhaust system you had, I have reason to believe this is called a Yoshimura kit for the frame. And also you can tell right here, the swing arm has been gusseted. Almost kind of reminds you of a cow fab swing arm to a certain degree, even though it's uh, This had to have been someone's kit or something or someone's good. Uh, and this is eraser stuff. Cause see how they, they put this uh, like foam here on top of the, on right on the bottom of the chain guard here. So, um, or swing arm, I should say. There is no chain guard anymore. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about all this and uh, we'll kind of go from there. And uh, I'm kind of interested to see what kind of, what they got coming out of the stator here. This thing looks like it's been sitting outside for a while. So let's, uh, we'll get into this a little bit more. We'll give you a call and uh, tell you what we think and everything. So we'll go, kind of go from there. It looks like this was all kind of built up right here. So this leads me to believe this is a serious road racer at one time for its age. But it can be done. じゃあ
かなりいいコンディションですこれでいきますのでお願いしますはい、えー、トランスミッションもクラッチバスケットもクランクシャフトも全部 OK ですこれからガスケットを塗って、えー、くっつけたいと思います以上です Blake, we got some、uh, more stuff. Uh, as you know, we just returned from Florida. So while Hila was gone, he replaced the crankshaft. The rod's is,、uh, bearing is bad on this one. So we had some really good used ones. And you can see he's going to spin the rods for you to show you how, see how free that spins. And that gets, that gets a little bit caught.、Yeah. So、uh, you, you didn't need this. So anyway, we got you a, a decent crankshaft. Then we found you a different cylinder. So here's your bottom end ready to go. And here's another cylinder ready to go. Of course, we're going to clean this up, vapor blast this, and everything. But just kind of wanted to show you where you're at. Everything's looking good. So we're going to be moving along here for you. Here's your cylinder head. This is the one that had all the busted fins. So, Hilo's welded this up and he's starting to dress it up a little bit. This is a long, drawn out process. But just kind of wanted to show you where we're at with it. The rest of the head looks nice.、Uh, everything's nice. But、uh, we're in the process of fixing the head right now as we speak. So,、uh, what, what's going to happen here? He's going to fix this head and we'll take this over to Ace Powder Coating over in Akron and then we'll get it all vapor blasted so it's matching again. This frame was missing a lot of stuff. So now we have the setup here for the Z1 seat lock right here. Then Hilo's grafted all this up to make this nice again. Here's your bracket and everything on this side. We've got your wide、uh, swing arm on it, which is pretty cool. We got that from Japan. That's pretty good. Then we moved your side stand bracket to come over this side of the motorcycle. We moved your side stand bracket back to where it should be stock. And then, then also, here's your seat、uh, stay. Put that bracket back on. And here's your brackets for the seat. We put those back on. And then here's your. Here's your area here for the bracket for the seat lock. We have, the, we have the lever where you turn it in and out. So this is all put back together. Now, we didn't make, we didn't make the thing for your turn signals because you weren't so interested in turn signals, so we didn't. So、uh, we left the bracket off here because it, we don't believe it would clear. We had your、uh, disc plate holders. Powder coated headlamp bucket. We got that powder coated. Here's your caliper brackets, your motor mounts, your lower triple clamp, upper triple clamp from brake hub, and the caliper. So,、uh, just thought we'd show you how we're making out. Got a little bit of progress here, and、uh, your frame's being powder coated right now after all kinds of fabrication. So,、uh, you're rocking. You're going to have a rocking、uh, bike, that's for sure. Okay, Blake, you got your frame all done. Nice, nice job. This is going to be a nice、uh, vintage racer. This will be perfect. So, we just got back from the powder coater. So, I just kind of want to show you what it looked like. You can see we fixed up all these tabs. The underside's perfect. So,、uh, just thought we'd show you that and I、uh, hope you like what you see. Uh, we got some stuff back. Guy only did one rim at a time. This is your rear rim. We're still waiting on the other one. But this is the old polished out rim. Holy cow. This is nice. Got still little marks, you know, that'll never go away. But man, is this nice. DID, Japan, the size on the side of it. That's cool. Nice, 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 nice. Here's your exhaust holders.、Uh, see how they got the, they're recessed right here for, for the pipe, and here's the outside. 
I've never seen these before, and we obviously took them off the motorcycle. These are cool. These are cool. I, I love them. That's cool stuff. And then we have your rear brake drum. Nice. This is nice on the inside, like new. This is super nice. Then we got it polished. This is nice. And here's your sprocket carrier. This is nice. Nice stuff. So, of course, we're going to put new bearings and seals and everything. And same with everything. But I just thought I'd show you uh, the process here. This is really, really cool. And uh, I hope you like this. This is definitely going to be a one-of-a-kind Count 900, that's to say the least. Thanks. Okay, Blake. We kind of want to show you how your hot rod's doing. About done. Um, paint looks pretty good. The uh, meters are look outstanding. The uh, it's looking good. Hilo's got 25 miles on it. I didn't get to ride this one yet. Got our uh, cable adjuster on it. The meters were rebuilt by Don Fulsang in Florida. They're looking pretty good. The uh, powder coating. The cap looks good, the headlight bracket, everything is nice. We put an LTD chrome front fender on it. I hope you like that. We kind of chose that. So we're hoping you like that. It's got those beautiful drill disc brakes on it. That is the coolest front wheel I have ever seen for one of these bikes. I mean, this is totally, totally, totally cool. Got really nice tires on it. Now keep in mind, this is an 18 inch. So they were they were road racing this at one time, I can tell you that. That's uh that's cool stuff. You got the the motor's absolutely gorgeous. Now the pipe was used when we put it on, uh the pipe that we originally tried to put on wasn't really working. It's got a our own custom chain guard on it. That's actually an old chopper chain guard that we cut and ground on and had powder coated. Fantastic rims, beautiful polishing. Uh, we would like to put some more time on it just to make sure everything is good. I think it is. Got the Pingle fuel valve on it. Uh, got the, there's no rear fender on it. We got to wipe it down. I, I don't know where all the dust and pump stuff's coming from, but it's coming. Uh, it's looking good. And I hope you like what you see. Very, 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 very nice motorcycle. Very nice motorcycle. Uh, I might even start.
motorcycle is great again. Woo!